Wow, look at that. I know my family, I talked to them today. They're from Pennsylvania. They said they expect a foot of snow tomorrow alone. So I know we in California want the rain and snow, but could it be too much of a good thing? Anyways, right now, Bakersfield is looking absolutely gorgeous. 55 degrees right now, 47 dew point, and uh, the winds are coming northeast at 6 miles per hour. Right now, we are seeing those low clouds really move east. We're seeing 50s here in the valley, 40s in the desert, and 50s along the coast. So things are going to be picked Picking right back up to normal after this storm, and wind speeds have certainly calmed down as well. Seven mile per hour winds in the mountains, nine in the desert, seven up in Porterville. So it should stay consistent throughout the week, and we hit a high of 65 today. That's actually cooler than our normal for a change. We are used to seeing those above normal temperatures, so this is actually nice to see a change. And our low will get to 47 degrees tonight. So as you can see, that storm system is really moving in. The northern northern parts of California are going to catch the tail end of that, but we were lucky to see anything at all. Um, we are actually seeing a high pressure ridge, however, make its way through for this week, bringing us more above normal temperatures. But here are the rainfall rainfall totals from the weekend. Fraser Park saw about four inches of rain leak. Isabella saw two. Tehachapi saw about three and a half, McFarland a half an inch, and good old Bakersfield, we saw 0.28 inches. But like I said, it's better than nothing. We'll take what we can get. I'm sure the farmers and everyone are happy to see some relief from this drought, which also improves our air quality, bringing it back down to the good range. Should stay this way for a couple days as long as those winds continue to clear things out so you are able to burn a fire. But please remember to burn cleanly. So this is what your bus stop forecast looks like. We'll start the day at 49 degrees. Degrees, heating up to 68. Our high will be 69 by 3 o'clock tomorrow. Another gorgeous day ahead. Really can't complain. So, like I said, things will clear out. However, Northern California is still catching the tail end of that storm, seeing rain in Sacramento, San Francisco, as well as South Lake Tahoe tomorrow. Fresno will get up to 68 degrees. Other than that, just cloudy day that should be clearing out by midday, as we can see up in the northern central coast. Pismo Beach will get up to 65 as well as solving 61 in Morro Bay. And then the lower parts of the central coast like Santa Barbara and Ventura, they'll see higher 60s as well with less clouds. Now we will see some patchy fogs in Southern California, especially in San Diego, L.A. and Anaheim. However, that will only uh, pass by until 11 a.m. After that, things will clear up and we'll see a high of 74 in Palm Springs. So who can really complain at these gorgeous temperatures in our valley? We'll get up to the high 60s, low 70s, and our mountains will move over and stay just as beautiful. 53 in Fraser Park, low 60s for the most part, and 56 in Tehachapi. Overnight lows in the mid-30s to 40s, so that's not bad news at all. And in our desert, look at that, 65 for the most part, 72 in Mojave. So that high, that ridge of high pressure will really keep things warm for the next couple days. In fact, the next week, look at that. We're going to heat right back into the 70s, upper 70s this time next weekend. Lake Isabella looks just about the same. And then over in our mountains, we are going to see breezy conditions on Tuesday. Those wind gusts could get up to 30 miles per hour. And then after that, we'll be uh, seeing upper 60s for the rest of the week. So we were so thankful to see this storm system, and it really did help us. However, we are getting in those above normal temperatures for the next couple of weeks. So more sunshine. Not yeah. bad. Can't complain. 70s. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Yeah.